everyone, today I'm going to talk about Shintoisms. Shinto is also called Kami no Michi. Here, it's Japanese Shinto. So that's Japanese and this is Kami no Michi. It's translated as the path of God. It, it is an indigenous religion of Japan and the people of Japan. It is defined as an action-centered religion focused on ritual practices to be carried out diligently to establish a connection between present-day Japan and its ancient past. Certain beliefs, certain religions have certain beliefs. So what Shintoism people believe that sacred narratives, ultimate reality and divine beings human nature and the purpose of existence, suffering and problems of devil, afterlife and salvation. So one of the belief, uh, which is human nature and the purpose of existence, that is connected to our book, The Alchemist. So what's that mean is human is a part of, part of nature. It is sacred. Pollution does occur throughout normal acts such as contact, con contact with things that threaten our lives, which are blood and death. But those pollutions won't consider as sin because those pollutions will be washed away eventually. That's a pollution. So it's a, it is a bird abode and it's a traditional Japanese gate most commonly found at the entrance of or within a Shinto shrine, where it symbolically marks the transition from profane to the sacred. Kanushi, it's translated as God Master, also called Shinshok. It is a person responsible for the main entrance of a Shinto shrine, as well as for leading worship of of a given god, Kami. The characters of Kanushi are sometimes also read Jinshu with the same meaning. Kagura is translated as God's entertainment. It is a specific type of Shingo practical dance. Today, it is very much a living tradition with ritual, ritual tied to the rhythm of the agriculture calendar as well as vibrant kanoki escort theater filming primarily in parts of Shinane, Shimane Prefecture and urban centers such as Hiroshima. So I have a video for you. so rapidly, many of its magnificent traditions have largely been preserved. Japan's wonderfully rich culture is celebrated for its ornate costumes and attire, its intricate and diverse artwork, and its elaborate and stunning architecture. Two staples of Japanese culture still present today are the Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples found across the country. Shinto is the native religion of Japan and was once its state religion. While it has no written body of doctrine, it is Japan's main religion and is practiced widely with ceremonies and festivals. Shinto shrines are where its believers go to worship. Almost all Shinto shrines are built in isolated wooded areas and are very oriented towards nature. There are many lucky charms and other such objects to be seen at a shrine. Most are used to determine the will of the gods and some as a way of asking for their protection. Another central facet of Japanese culture is the Buddhist temple. Temples are a place of worship for millions of Japanese Buddhists. Virtually every Japanese municipality has at least one temple, while large cultural centers like Kyoto have several thousands of them. 
Buddhism spread to Japan from India and China in the middle of the 6th century. Shortly after, Shinto and Buddhist beliefs began to influence one another. Today, you can find Shinto elements in many Japanese Buddhist temples, and likewise, Buddhist traditions have influenced the development of Shinto shrines. Nonetheless, unlike the Shinto shrines, Buddhist temples are built in open areas for all to see, and the architecture is much more complex and elaborate. Most, if not all, Buddhist temples exhibit the same basic design elements as other traditional Japanese buildings. Many temples are built mostly out of wood, and oftentimes, no nails are used to hold the wooden beams together. All temples store and display sacred Buddhist objects. The most sacred object is the Buddha himself, often located in the inner sanctuary, where worshippers stand to pray by pressing their palms together. Food offerings are frequently placed in the inner sanctuary to pay respect to the Buddha and other deities. Another significant feature of most Buddhist temples is the outside garden often located in the middle of the complex. Temple gardens possess ancient stones that represent different symbols, oftentimes a deity, an animal, or a spirit. In this incredibly peaceful and serene setting, monks and sometimes visitors gather to relax and meditate. One big bell is usually located in the temple complex. On New Year's Eve, the bell rings 108 times. They ring the bell 8 times in the old year and 100 times in the new year. This number is significant because 108 is the number of worldly desires in Buddhism that are driven away by the ringing of the bell. As you can see, Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines are truly a symbol of traditional Japanese culture. It's nice to know that even as the world rapidly changes, there are still places one can see which have largely been the same for thousands of years. Yeah, so that's all about Shintoism. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to ask. Um, okay, so I, I saw the Buddha wearing a big ass kamekpa um, from China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like for as I know for each Japanese they know that their culture were from many the east of Asia like for example China and India so they admire them and they carry them their culture to Japan so the Shintoism is like connect like combined Shintoism is about a god which maybe not Buddha, but yeah, it's a being that they believe. They don't have to be a human, but yeah, it's a god. Yeah, and I saw the this picture. Wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can still wait. Um, okay, this picture, like, is it kind of a play or? Yeah, it's a specific type of Shinto therapy dance, a dance. So they they going through this dance. Through they do. They tell the dog something to yeah. through the dance. Right. 